here's how I turned this into this or this into this or this into well you get the point and this was all done without adding any additional keyframes animating something has always been time consuming and even after spending hours to make it look good it sometimes come out very stiff and it honestly is frustrating I can't take it anymore. but don't worry because there are three things that you can do with your keyframes that can make your animation workflow significantly faster and to demonstrate that i have created this simple animation of a cube moving from left to right while rotating 360 degrees on the x-axis. Our goal is to make this animation look as dynamic as possible and there are three different settings that we can use to do just that. The first one is called interpolation modes. When you add a keyframe in Blender, the interpolation mode is automatically set to Bezier, which means that the animation will start slow, speed up and then slow down again. And the other most common one that we use is linear, which is where the speed of the entire animation is constant. But if you look closely, there are many other modes here. For example, there is one called elastic. And if you switch to that, just look at what happens. Our animation is already looking so dynamic. And to keyframe something like that, it might have taken at least 15 to 20 minutes. And there are a lot of other presets here. For example, exponential, which as the name suggests, it starts slow, but speeds up very very quickly or exponentially that's great and all but what if i want more control on how it behaves well that's where our next setting comes in it's called handle types let's switch the interpolation mode back to bezier and open up a new screen called graph editor here you can see that all the keyframes have a line over them which are called handles and if you right click on them you can select the keyframe and then select the handles and you will see that there are a few presets and the first one is called Free. This basically lets you manipulate the handle in any way you want. For example, I can move this one down and this will now make sure that the cube is moving very fast on the curve here and then slowing down right here. And I can also move this up. Now at the start of the animation, the cube's gonna go slowly, speed up and then slow down again. We can also play with other handle types, like for example, aligned. Now, whenever I move this, the other handle automatically moves along with it. We can also try another one, which is called vector, which is something similar to a linear mode where it by default aligns it to move at the same speed at the start and the end of the animation, but you can manipulate it to make it more different. And there are a few other ones like automatic and auto clam, which are somewhat similar to Bezier, but with a combination of all of this, you can create a lot more interesting effects than what are available by default. Awesome. So now I have my base animation in place, but what if I want this to keep repeating itself and maybe add noise to it? Well, that's where our next setting comes in. It's called animation modifiers. And if you expand the object transform here, you can see individual options for each animation keyframe that you have added. Let's select the X axis one and we can see a bunch of menus pop up on the right side of our screen. Now select the modifier tab and click on add modifier. We can add a cycle modifier and you can immediately see that the action that we have keyframe on the x-axis is getting repeated throughout the entire animation. That's great and all, but I want to get a little greedy. I want to add a little bit more realism to these actions. And we have just the right thing here, which is called noise. Let's add that and you can see that the cube is jittering uncontrollably. All right, let's fix that. I will change the scale to 15 and the strength to maybe four. And now it's a lot more smoother. And there are a lot of other modifiers here, which I would highly recommend you experiment with. Although I have learned that you can create the best looking animations in the world, but if you have an old graphic card like me, it can take a while for you to render that animation. But don't worry, I have a solution for you. Click on this video here to know more.